Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you the principle of operation of the incandescent lamp using this homemade version. As we know, incandescent lamps were the main source for lighting for many many years until some 25 or 30 years ago when they uh, were substituted first by fluorescent lighting and more recently by LED uh, lights. The reason is simple, efficiency. Uh, incandescent lamps have efficiencies of around 10 to 20 lumen per watt. Uh, and with LEDs, we can have efficiencies of 60 to 140 lumen per watt. A big difference and that makes that we spend less on the electricity bill. And the other reason is the uh, incandescent lamps have a shorter life than LED uh, lights. This bulb can be broken or the filament can also break and LEDs are much more resistant. And they are iner inherently more uh, resistant than uh, incandescent lamp such as this one. The credit for the invention of the incandescent lamp is given to Edison, of course. He patented the incandescent lamp in 1880, but many other researchers around the world were working on the same concept. Uh, in Great Britain, Joseph Wilson patented his incandescent lamp one year before Edison. However, his version worked only in the laboratory and the Edison version was a commercial lamp. That is the difference. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The principle of operation is super simple. Inside the bulb, we have a filament and we pass a current through this filament and it becomes very, very hot. Uh, the current makes the filament to glow. It becomes incandescent and emits light. Also, inside the bulb, there is a partial vacuum and some inner gas is inserted this to prevent oxidation of the filament without oxy oxygen the filament cannot burn and it will last longer this is my homemade version i have a pair of alligator clips and the filament goes here i will use a pencil lid for filament it is made of carbon and here we connect to the power supply. In order to prevent the presence of oxygen in the lamp, we have this, uh, we have water here inside this container and I will put this glass here and then I will place a piece of paper and burn it. When the paper burns, it will consume all the oxygen inside the glass and therefore we can pass the electric current and make the filament glow and it will not burn since we have no oxygen or very very little oxygen inside okay let's try our carbon filament in the presence of air it is now connected to the power supply the voltage is very low and so the current and now I will raise the voltage and of course the current will be higher and let's see what happens with our filament
it only lasted a few seconds before burning and now let's repeat the experiment putting the glass so there is no oxygen present. You can see how the water level goes up. This is because when the oxygen is consumed, a partial vacuum is created inside the glass. Therefore, the atmospheric fresh pressure pushes the water inside the glass. Let's now turn on the power supply. Okay, the carbon lead finally broke, but it lasted more than in the previous case in the presence of air. Also, if you notice it, the current was higher, almost 10 amps, and before the maximum current was around 8 amps. Well, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next video.